So hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll cover this amazing lab. So simply click on Start Lab, and basically you have to open the Cloud Console Incognito window, and just activate the Cloud Shell. Please follow the video because the lab is recently updated, and this is the only working solution available on the entire YouTube. So basically, you have to just follow as I am doing, and you'll get full score on this lab. Now just open the Console Incognito window. Here, if you get this kind of pop-up, click on I agree and agree and continue. And the next step is that you have to activate the cloud shell. Click over here, click on continue and simply you have to authorize yourself. It's very easy process, just follow as I am doing. Here in the description box, I've shared this repository, select it and paste on the cloud shell. Now wait for this to get completed and after this, all the steps are manual and tricky. So kindly follow the way I'm doing. First thing, a download, a file will be downloaded to your system. You have to download it to your local disk because we'll be requiring it for the next step, basically for getting full score on this lab. So just download it. Once you have successfully downloaded, click on this URL and just open it basically we have to create proxies so for that just wait for this link to open and please follow the way i am doing so that you get full score on this lab meanwhile if you are new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now for the proxy name you can come to the github repo and from there we'll just complete it so just copy the name here copy the base path and for the target endpoint url come over here drag your mouse cursor from here to here You'll get the clipboard icon, copy it. All the things are correct. Click on create. It will again take some time. Now here we have to export some files. Okay. If you have followed the series of the labs, you must have seen we are exporting some files. Now click on the develop, click on import revision. And now come to the GitHub repo again. And there we have to download one file. So just click on it. It will download a file to your local system. Now we have to upload the same file over here. So click on browse. Select the file which you have downloaded and click on import. Once the file is imported, click on view revision. And here basically we have to modify the same URL which we have, which we have copied just now. Let me show you which URL. You have to come over here. All the things are properly exported. You have to just cross verify that you are in revision 2 only. Okay. Once you see like this, you have to just scroll down and here you can see target endpoints. Click on this one. Okay. Preflow. Click on it. Now here, let me increase it. So now here, this URL. Okay. So again, copy it. Drag your mouse cursor and copy it. Replace this URL and authentication audience. Okay. Carefully replace it. Make sure any other thing is not replaced. And then you have to just click on save. You can see the save button is highlighted. Click on save and then we have to deploy it to another environment. So once it is saved, you can see it is finally saved. Click on develop. Click on environment. Select it. Service account. Come to the cloud shell. Double click and just copy the service account and click on deploy. Click on confirm. Basically, you have to double click over there and the service account will be copied. So this clears your doubt. Now just wait for the deployment to get completed and then we'll move forward to the next step of this lab. Once it is successfully deployed, we have to create apps and then we have to modify some of the things. So click on the apps option and from here you have to click on the create option. You can see on the top, click on create. Now come to the GitHub repo, which is present in the description box of the video. You have to come over here, copy it carefully, paste it and just select the developer. Here click on add credentials and then you have to come over here, add products and just select the read only one. Okay, you have to select read only one and just click on add option. Now, once you have added this, you have to just click on this and approve it. Okay, you have to approve it. So just click on approve, then simply click on create. Finally, here the app has been created and approved also. Now we have to create another app. So click on create. Now here we have to add the second name over here. So update the developer name, click on add credentials, add products and just select the second one, basically full access and then click on add. Click on this and just approve it and then simply click on create. So finally we have created both the apps over here. Okay. 
now here we have to just come over here to the portal section and now please follow this because the lab is updated from here only and here you can see the portal option you have to click on create so just click on create now here the ui is updated as i said so you have to come to the lab instruction and follow with me to complete this lab do not worry we'll cover it each and every step and you'll be able to complete the lab without any issue now come over here to the lab instruction to the task number basically eight if we see which task we have to complete first of all check the score and let's see how much score we get and then only we'll move forward to the next step i think we have got 90 out of 100 so let me check simply come to the task number seven and here you have to see that we have to enter the name bank and then we have to click on create now it will take couple of minutes so wait for it one more important thing do like the video and subscribe the channel guys and do share the channel with your community members now we have to open the bank and one more important thing if you are getting this kind of thing you have to click on enroll now here click on the bank and here we have to add the api okay so click on plus icon to enable the api now here we have to just follow it so just select this one and then just update the title like this just follow the way i am doing now make sure it is like this and it's public okay now it's public and visible to everyone it is shown below okay like this you have to come over here okay now here make sure to remove any extra space if it's there so here update the display image like this and click on select now all these things are done now here in the api documentation we have to select open api document now we have to upload the same file which we have downloaded just now okay basically whatever we have run in the cloud shell i hope you remember now select and just save you can cross verify all the things and then at last click on save okay i repeat you have to just cross verify now all these things are done and we have completed all the tasks now this will take some time for the score to get updated so you just wait for some time and you will be able to get full score on this lab and if you are facing issue do let me in the comment section thank you guys have a great day ahead do like the video and subscribe the channel and have a great day ahead so have a great day ahead